What's going on everyone? Back here for the second upload of the day to show you guys this sneaker right here, the Air Jordan 12 Low Super Bowl. This was one of two releases that dropped today. We had this shoe as well as the Jordan 5 Anthracite. I just got that video up on my channel. Awesome sneaker and now we're going to take a dive into this one here. Take a look at it both up close and on feet. Get you everything you're going to need to know and get you ready for the Super Bowl tomorrow. This was a really cool release by Jordan. This was something they've done in the past in terms of making a Super Bowl sneaker but this one is really really cool for two different reasons that I'm excited to show you guys. Some hidden details, some small features that were really cool to see when you start unpacking the sneaker. The Jordan 12 Low is definitely an interesting silhouette. Definitely not one of my favorite silhouettes but nonetheless excited to check it out today here with you guys so be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep it locked to the channel for all of my future reviews i do my best to pick up almost every single new sneaker show it to you guys here on youtube but for now let's dive in and start checking out the super bowl jordan 12 low so at first glance here it might not look like there's a ton going on with the shoe but as you dig deeper into the sneaker you actually find more and more cool things that relate back to the super bowl here so it is really cool and let's dive in first with some of the quick facts to get you everything you're going to need to know about the shoe first up with the sizing the fit the comfort all that kind of stuff i do recommend going true to size in this shoe even though this is an air jordan 12 low it's still an air jordan 12 and it does seem to fit true to size just like most other jordan 12s in my opinion in terms of the comfort it's really not great in all honesty out of the box it's going to feel a bit stiff but it is going to wear in a bit better and feel better over time. The low top feels a little strange to me, to be honest. I'm not sure I've ever had a Jordan 12 low if we're actually thinking about it here, but um, it's kind of cool, I guess. Low top sneakers in terms of retros are always kind of hit or miss. I definitely don't love this, but it's actually not too bad when you take a look at it in hand. Now, the colorway is actually going to look like the Flu Game Jordan 12, you know, the high top version. This sort of looks like a low top with some other things going on. In terms of the pricing here, it did come out for a retail of 190 bucks, so pretty standard for a Jordan Retro. Uh, the resale prices, I believe these did pretty much sell out. They're going for around 250 bucks on the secondary market. But as for the sneaker here, like I said, it's kind of like the Flu Game, but then it has some other interesting elements. First off, you'll notice some of the gold hits on the lateral and the medial side, and the eyelets up at the top for the lace holes that you see are in gold. Then the next interesting thing, and one of the two cool things that I like about the shoes is the inner liner. So the inner liner and actually the box both have this kind of confetti type pattern, which of course, you know, meshes well with the Super Bowl here. It is really cool, something very different for Jordan, and you know, something I don't mind, but I think people are going to either kind of love it or hate it definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but then the next interesting part on the shoe is actually the back heel tab and the back heel on the shoe so again while it does look just like the flu games you actually see the heel tab is actually orange i was a little confused as to why they chose orange it definitely sticks out definitely uh, does not mesh too well with the sneakers but it gives it a standout piece but then the second really cool thing and honestly the best part about this sneaker in my opinion is what you see on the back of the heel tab so it says 813 that is the area code for tampa that's really cool that they put that on there of course the super bowl is being hosted in tampa so again paying homage to the super bowl keeping consistent with the theme as for the rest of the sneaker, I gotta say I'm not in love with the quality. The black parts you see on the shoe are actually almost this corduroy type of material, which in person looks a bit cheaper than the pictures actually look online, so I was a little disappointed with that. Um, but then the laces are all black, the tongue is all black, the outsole looks just like the outsole on the Flu Game Jordan 12s. Nothing too different there. So when you boil it down, this sneaker is really like a low top pair of the Flu Games with some gold, a little bit of orange, and some homage to the Super Bowl. So all in all, it's definitely interesting. I gotta say, I'm not in love with it. The Jordan 12 Low is an all right silhouette in my book, but not something I'm gonna wear a ton. I really would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I think for me, this is really gonna round out at like a seven out of 10. Not one of my favorites. I wanted to pick it up to check it out and was happy with what I saw, but definitely not a shoe I think I'm gonna wear too much. So I think it's safe to say that this is definitely one of the more interesting Jordan retros that we've seen release at least recently, but I do have to give it to Jordan. I appreciate them trying something a little bit different, mixing a few things together and doing something special for the Super Bowl. Honestly, who doesn't love to see that? But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and let's see what the comments think. Brady, Mahomes, who's winning tomorrow? I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out and I'll catch you guys again real soon on the next video.